Hi all, Mrs H Reviews. Hope you're all well. I'm doing a review today on this um, Kipling Power purse that I've got from QVC. Um, I don't get any of these sent to me by Kipling or any other brands. The stuff that I either buy or I'm given as a gift. Um, and then I use them for a week, two weeks, and then I, I give you guys a review so you can see what they're like. So this is the True Black. Um, as you can see, it's got the rubber Kipling logo there and a little ring pull. I think it's the new a version of the new money. So if you look at it on the side, you've got this. Now I'm not that happy with this Prestard because I think the new money had one that came over and it was a bit more um, secure. If you stuff this a lot with your cards and stuff, then it can tend to sort of pop open. Anyway, I'll show you this. So it pops open. So you've got a mesh part here. You can keep like your ID or whatever for work. I've just got my coffee cards. So you've got that. And then you've got another one behind here. And I've just got some Morrison's vouchers. You've got another pocket under there. I think I've got my driving license. Yeah. Oh, I'm a QVC card. Um, it doesn't have a note section so if you like to have your note section then this probably this purse probably is not for you i'd say it's probably about the same size as the new money and then you have three card slots here and i've got probably about four one two three oh no five in one well four in the other and two in the other so i've got quite a few cards in there and this is uh df um like proof so it's got that stuff in it where they can't scan your cards. And then we'll go over to the zip. The zip's quite substantial. I mean, you can put a lot of cards in here as well if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use that other bit. So you open it up and then you've got a slip pocket here. I just put some randoms in there for now. And then you've got your other pocket there. So you could quite easily get if you wanted to, I'll just take out a few of these just to um, just to show, show you. So you could easily get some cards in the back, one in there, and some cards there. You can even put some rolled up notes in here. So if you've got a £20 note, a £10 note, a £5 note, whatever, and you fold them up, you can easily put them behind there keep them safe so as you can see you can get cards in there notes in there or cards or stamps or receipts or whatever you want i put some coins in here and again you've got another slip pocket here and i've just put some i put a receipt i think so i put a receipt in there so as you can see you can get cards um, put that in there I'll put probably cards on this side because if you've got cards there, you haven't really got much room. As we're here, you've got quite a lot of room to open. So if you want to put receipts or money in there, then you can. And you've also got this to put money in. I'll just put a receipt in there for you just to show you if you want to put receipts on one side. So you can fit a lot in. Um... It's just the fact that this doesn't clip that well. And I think it would tend to come open. But other than that, it's, you know, it's a lovely little purse. Like I said, it's a step up from the new money. And it's called the Kipling Power Purse. I'm not sure if QVC is the only place you can get it from, but that's where I got it from. I think it was £33. Um, and I do know that they do it in other colours. But... Like I say, it's great. It fits in small bags. It's not small, but it's not large. It's probably like a medium-sized purse. If it's just purely for cards and, you know, um, loyalty cards, a bit of change, that kind of thing, and the odd note here and there, then you're all right. But if you, if you like a compartment that does have all your notes set out for you, then this isn't the purse. But lovely. I'm really, really pleased with it be using this quite a while now um 
yeah, please like and subscribe. And if you want me to um, review anything for you guys, just let me know. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.